Well, that was another bright, sunshiny day. As you can see, uh, temperatures 10 degrees. Uh, just over fi about 50 Fahrenheit. Look at this. Uh, I've never seen this paint in the flesh yet, so we'll see what it's like together. I did blow around it with my uh, gun first just to make sure there's no dust. Well, hopefully. So it needs a good mix up. So we'll give it a good mix up and have a look then. What's this paint code? It's actually um, BMW 231 Mineral Blue. Uh, chip number V1700, whatever the hell that means. Um, so, uh, it looks, if you can get that, like that, like a bluey green, it's a single stage, um, paint like we did the, uh, did the, um, Boston with, so, um, and that's shiny enough for me, it's not super shiny like a hot rod or anything like that, but it's, uh, it's good enough for a vintage car if that makes any sense. Um, right, so we'll get some mixed up and we'll, uh, we'll stick it on the car, so uh, on the chassis. Right, just quickly, um, so the mix ratio is 1000 parts paint, finer parts, uh, hardener, and 1500, uh, 150 to 300 parts thinner, so um, it's 2 to 1 to 1, isn't it? Um, one thing I keep doing, and I've done it every time, every single time I've opened a paint tin and pulled the paint out of it, I've always paint for some, I don't know why, just crazy like that I suppose, I've always seemed to be paint, um, tipping it out this side, because I end up with paint on the sticker, and I can never see what's, uh, what's written on the sticker afterwards. <laughs> so, the paint, pour it out the other side, <laughs> there we go. That's, um, the chassis are a rascal to paint, in my opinion. The, um, oh, sorry. I've just had to mix up another pot of paint because it's patchy and I've missed bits completely. Um, so, I've just uh, mixed up some more paint and then uh, hopefully I'll get the right there. Uh, that dry spot, so um, yeah, what a rascal thing to paint. Nooks and crannies all over the place. A little rascal, but anyway, yeah, just let that um, hang around for a bit and then I'll chuck some more. What else can I have a look? Seems so. Um, Seems okay, doesn't it? There's a couple of real meaty runs on it. Um, which, to be honest, I'm not that worried about because, um, thank goodness to, uh, um, see that, oh, there it is there. Little hairy ass, uh, little bugger that one. You see it? Starts off about there. <laughs> uh, yeah, the biggest thing I find with, uh, or found with um, painting chassis, the chassis is that um, keep getting in your, in your own way. Does that make any sense? And then uh, getting your pot caught up somewhere, or your arm, or your elbow, or something like that. But anyway, it's the uh, it appears to be the right colour. I can't tell because I haven't got the um, plate with me that had the colour on it. This was. Um, 
I'm going to see it is dirty, but it's a much brighter blue. Um, this was this turned out to be uh, British Lady and Teal blue because um, someone had inadvertently painted it with um, teal blue paint at some point. The headlight headlight bezels. Um, whereas this is a much greenier blue, as you can see. But anyway, that's enough going on about bloody blue. Um, I'm happy with it anyway. That's the main thing, isn't it? It looks a lot more like it should be, the original colour. Um, so that's six. Six or seven. Seven coats of paint in all, including the primers. So, um, that's got to help stop the rust coming through again, isn't it? I'm going to fill the chassis rails right up with um, wax oil as well, so that's got to help, surely. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, let this... Um, harden right off, dry right off and then I can put it back down and uh, start putting um, chassis uh, suspension stuff back on with the nice new bits so there we go it's me signing off for Sunday catch up here another day bye bye